10 years ago today, the Waldo Canyon fire engulfed over 300 homes in our community and took two lives too soon. A day of remembrance happened earlier today at the Flying W Ranch. Our Natalie Chuck was there and brings us this report. Andy, firefighters remember seeing fire and smoke absolutely covering exactly where I am standing right now. The Waldo Canyon fire basically engulfed all of the Flying W Ranch, but today community members got to come back and see it completely rebuilt, many of them celebrating how far we have come over the last 10 years. For many, the pain has been great. For some, the pain still lingers. A wet and cold day at the Flying W Ranch, vastly different than the scene 10 years ago. Sometimes it does seem like it was yesterday. Community members gathered at what was once a ranch left in rubble, remembering the toll the Waldo Canyon fire took in 2012. Surreal. Uh, I guess that's the word I want to use. Um, uh, crazy time that seems like forever ago. Steve Weed and Lori Wilson were among those in the crowd. Weed is an artist who found relief in his work after they were evacuated during the fire. I was walking around seeing these pieces of, of burnt ember and ashes in our yard. <clears throat> so I thought maybe it would work to draw with. Uh, so I picked some up and went in the studio and it did work. It was amazing how well it did work. It worked so well, Weed's art was eventually auctioned off to build the fire's memorial at Mountain Shadows Park. Fire on and in the A decade later, the years of recovery calls for celebration. Looking at the hillside, you know, some of the shrubbery is starting to grow back. Um, and so instead of just a brown hillside with black sticks, you're starting to see the green. A glimmer into the new life after the ashes and a reminder of Southern Colorado's strength. Never forget what happened here and how community came together and how we were resilient. And officials here invited community leaders and first responders from the Marshall Fire, which burned up in Boulder back in December, down to the ranch today, hoping to offer them inspiration for the rebuilding and regrowth that they face in the years ahead. Reporting from the Flying W Ranch, Natalie Chuck, News 5.